Okay, I thought I'd do a quick video on where I stand with Temeraire, with the Reva. I've done a test fit of all of the components together, which I've been um, working away on individually, and I thought it was time to sort of put them together temporarily, so they're only sort of placed um, where, you know, they're not glued or secured in any way, you can see none of that's uh, glued in. Uh, the the arms are just screwed, they're not glued, so I've got uh, self-tapping stainless steel screws that are holding those arms in. Uh, I'm working on the posing of the arms and just basically the idea of this, putting it all together, doing a bit of a dummy fit, is to make sure that the freehand elements work together, that the colours are in the right places before it's sort of finalised. The legs are all glued, so they're obviously finalised. This um, chest piece with the the name here is, is finalised. The head's just loosely in place there. The carapace armour at the top there is just loosely in place. Um, the carapace weapon is just sat there as well. Um, yeah, I've still got to work out how the cables are going to run from the back of this this cannon the gatling cannon gatling blast i'm not sure whatever it is and then uh yeah the cables at the back of this one as well on the um port side weapon arm uh the big thing that the big reason i wanted to do it was with with the screws out i can't really look at the tops of these panels um and this is my big concern i'm really I'm really not happy with how this piece looks, works with the rest of the Titan. Um, so I think what I'm going to have to do is repaint this. And I think what I'm looking at is doing it uh, with the stripe motif again, um, but with these chains on it. Because uh, I think the chains look quite cool. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to have to do that. You've just got to suck it up and you know just write off those hours that were done on this um and do what works best as the whole uh, which means that what i've done now putting it all together like this has been worthwhile if it means that i can make that decision then that's uh, that's how i need to move forward um so yeah it's been a bit of a learning experience let's have a bit of a look where we stand i'll pick the camera slash telephone up so that's where the um that's where the weapons the cables attached there at the, the back of that weapon arm uh, so this uh i've just put the um these transfers on i still need to uh yeah to to set them into the surface to make them you know disappear so you can see that you can see there very clearly that they've got that shitty sort of sheen where the transfer sheet is around the outside so i'll get rid of all of that um with my tamiya product i can't remember what it's called uh, it's the yellow one i'll get rid of that with the yellow one and then weather it all in um so that panel still needs to be done um i'm going to again i think i mentioned before resolve the bottom of that um these necks so either side of this shield will be resolved there and we've got the machina opus and this will have either i'm still deciding it will either have it'll have one of three things it will have either the cog around it um which i'm sort of leaning towards because it it um, ties into the other cogs that are all over the um the titan or it will have a chain um, similar to the chain that's around that skull uh, skull and head motif there or it will have script um, I think it will either be the chain or the cog I think the script is probably a bit um, convoluted but we'll see uh, yeah so I think this doesn't work I've decided that by doing this I've decided that by putting it all together I've decided that um, and then round the back here, let's see if we can see it. There we go. A little bit of freehand there and some start of the weathering. Put some, um, some stuff on that panel there too, some little transfers on the panel. You can see on the top of that weapon arm, we need to run the cables still. 
Um, happy with this weapon. Still need to do just the final bronze, gold, space metal application there. But that's, yeah, it's really quick. Uh, we can see the legs I'm pretty happy with. This one has been at the back there, I think all stuck together. The last video I didn't have it have that leg stuck on yet. Uh, I put a bit of freehand script on the knee pad there. Uh, what else has been done since then? A lot of um, work on the metallics and some... Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, so the metallics in there, the detailing in there. Um, that's all been done with my metallic method. That's good, happy with that. I've still got some more work at the back of the legs to do. Uh, I, st I have stuck these on, um, these icons on. I've put some weathering powder, which is Humbrol smoke up in there. I still need to put some more up in there. Uh, let's have a look, let's have a look. I have refined the bronze work, brass work a little bit more in there and I've done the lenses. Uh, I've put some transfers on there. I still want to put some more sort of, uh, I need to put some highlights of silver in, in that gold a little bit, some bright silver. Transfers on those um, cable interfaces, the, uh, let's in there, the script on the banner work there, Temeraire um, has been done. Uh, yeah, so still to do, I've still got bronze, some bronze work there to do. I've still got to resolve this shoulder pad, resolve this um, carapace weapon mount icon, uh, and weather down, obviously, a few of the panels. Um, a few of the panels need some weathering down. <sighs> Yeah, it haven't been as quick as I would have liked. I think I, the last video I said three to four weeks. I'm not sure how many, how long it's been now. Um, I estimate maybe another two because I've uh, I've gotten very busy at work, <clears throat> uh, which means that I am less inclined to stay up very very late at night um, bashing away on the paints to get my uh, toy soldiers painted because it's pretty. Um, yeah pretty tiring um, but overall I am really 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 happy with this model this is uh, you pay a bit of money for this forge world model yeah the instructions aren't great and people can complain about them all they want um, I absolutely have had a ball building and painting this thing it has been so 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 much fun uh, yeah, I, I can't recommend. If you've got if you've got the money to spend, or if you if you know you're able to get one of these things, shit, it's just awesome. It's it's the amount of time that it's taken, and the entertainment, and the the fun that I've had doing this for what is it, fifteen hundred Australian bucks? Um, I don't know how many hours are in this. Just hundreds, hundreds, and hundreds of hours. Um, and then moving forward, all the enjoyment you get out of if you're going to play it on the tabletop or I'm going to be looking at it every time I go into my study. Um, it's, yeah, it's fantastic. It's, it, it really is good value, I think. And it's something that, you know, if it's your hobby, if it's something you love doing, I think that the price is, is fair. It's, it's an incredibly detailed and complicated kit. Every time I start work on a new section i i find details and i'm amazed at the skill that the sculptors have put into it and the designers have put into it and it's just it's just a great kit and it's just been an absolute joy to build and paint uh so yeah it's still going um i'm going to do uh i'm not sure what you'd call it let's call it a dick flag i'm going to put a dick flag in here like they've got in the artwork and then a, probably an arm flag. Uh, I'm not sure about the arm flags yet. I'm not sure how that will do, how how that'll look. If I do, I won't just put one, I'll put three, because I think it looks weird not having, if you just have a dick flag and one arm flag, it'll be weird. I think I've got to have a dick flag and two arm flags. Anyway, we'll work it out. But yeah, that's, 
I'm pretty happy with that. Also, the other reason for putting it together was so that I, I know the best angle to view the Titan from. So I think that angle's okay, but that's, that's the best angle there, which means that when I build my diorama uh, around it, I will have a wall here, uh, sorry, a wall here and a wall on the other side. And I'll orient those walls so that the view that you get of the Titan is that sort of perspective there. Um, yeah, I mean, it does still look good from all angles, I think. I'm pretty happy with my um, the posing there too, so. We'll finish there. All right, see you in the next video.